It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Saltair Brewery and it's a bottle of their White Christmas. It's been described as a festive citrus and spiced pale ale coming in at 4.8% ABV. There's a look at the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke. On the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Oh, look at this. A spice citrus golden pale ale. Oh, look at this. Mmm. One finger white head, good levels of carbonation, slow moving carbonation, um, light straw coloured, heading towards amber, it's slowly heading towards amber, but it looks terrific. At this stage of the beer review I want to say a massive thank you to our channel sponsor beersofeurope.co.uk, beersofeurope.co.uk, they send us 10 beers a month, we give them a little mention, no money exchanges hands. It's just a nice little have some beer, give us a shout out type of thing. So in the description box of the video you will see a link to beersofeurope.co.uk's website. Go and have a look, maybe order this beer. Let's get the aroma then. Yeah, clear, there's no haze to this one whatsoever. Mmm. Like orange marmalade with some white pepper added. A real orangey marmalade -y, jammy and real spicy, spicy Christmas beer. Smells very interesting. Very interesting. I do like these Christmas beers. I like a couple of the the light like golden ones. I'm I'm I would say I'm more of a more of a fan of the the kind of the chestnut big multi bready Christmas beers with loads of Christmas spices in. This smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's really interesting. It's got a really nice bready, multi, grainy finish. To begin with, you get the hiss and the fizz of the carbonation on your palate. And you get that quite citrusy lemony flavour and then it's a whack of like white pepper and spices just to reiterate the fact that this is a Christmas beer and generally Christmas beers are, are quite spiced. Typically Christmas beers are more they're more old school more old school traditional types of beer if you're into your new world craft beers this probably wouldn't be for you and that's 
I'd rather stand here and be honest with you than than say, yeah, go out and buy it. You'll enjoy this. You know, if you enjoy your New England IPAs and your kind of your Imperial Stouts and your Sours, yeah, you're going to really love this. You won't. You won't. This is a more traditional Christmas pint. Where does it fit in then? <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> you've only got to take you've only got to take Christmas Day for example of where this beer would fit in let's set the scene you wake up in the morning open the presents with the kids well I do because I've got kids they play with the presents for half an hour, an hour. I then look to get the bacon sandwiches on in the morning. My parents rock up nine, ten o'clock in the morning. I make them a bacon sandwich. They play with the kids for a bit. And um, my old man, he, he used to, he used to have a pint. But um, oh, I'm driving, I'm driving now. You know, he's he's one. He's become a stickler for the rules, you know. But um, of course, of course, play by the rules. Um, but he, he, years ago, you could you could you could get away with stuff a bit more years ago, and he would he would have a pint in the morning. Um, but I would say after the bacon sandwiches, then you're looking, you know, your parents have left. You're looking to get the dinner on. You're looking to get that roast dinner on, and that's when I'd say it's a bit of a hard graft a Sunday dinner, isn't it? It really is. You know, you want to get it perfect. You want all the pigs in blankets sorted, and God knows what and it's nice to have a quiet beer whilst you're doing all of that, you know, a slow beer. Nothing, nothing like hey, the party started, you know, not, 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 you know, not, not necessarily like that. But just to have something on the side here. This is this is our kitchen where we do the sun. <laughs> it all gets done in here. But just have the beer on the side over there and have a, have a couple of swigs of it while you're while you're cooking the roast. And then the next thing you know, it's nine, ten o'clock in the night. The, the party's swinging, and uh, you know the jukebox is is going full full pelt, and uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, um, it goes quite quickly, doesn't it? Christmas Day, it does. It's over in a flash. Right, it's a nice beer. It's a very traditional beer. It's quite spicy. It's quite spicy. This kind of, it's like, oof, blimey, that's spicy. Um, a refreshing light hop pale infused with orange peel and coriander seeds for a deliciously festive twist. I said it was really marmalady, didn't I, earlier on in the review. Um, I'm going to rate it. Um, did up there in Salt Air Brewery in Shipley. I've been up to Shipley. Um, my mate lives up in Shipley. I'm not sure if he still does. Um, oh, bump but a bum. How do I? It's a funny one. It's a funny one because I'd only want one of these. It's a bit too spicy for me. It's a bit too much kind of white peppery for me. It's a six. It's a six out of ten. Six out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.